Okay. <sighs> Looks like... I'm not sure if they're filming a TikTok out there or not. Um, but they're definitively in the pastels. Um... Yeah. They're a dance crew. I, I saw them up at the, the the picnic tables at the very top. And I was like, we have a skate group coming in. And then, like, I was doing some stuff. We were looking up the history of Nuremberg Castle and Nuremberg, because Aaron made a joke, that Gutenberg is just Good Mountain if it's spelled Berg. If it's Berg, it's just the general municipality area. Um, kind of an interesting idea, but... <laughs> um, yeah. Where do you live? The good place. <laughs> Who the plots? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, and so I was looking that up, and then I stood up, and they were all dancing. And I was like, what in the pastel eyesores is happening here? I'm definitely not going to go down and be a Karen on him, but Aaron's cooking the bacon now. I don't have another physio appointment. <laughs> he had me do like 16 kilo chest press and then a 20 kilo chest press and then 20 a single plate bench press. And then he put a plate and a half bench press and was like, okay, well, we don't need to do eight. We're going to do six. I'm like, bro, huh, plate and a half is where I've been kind of maxing recently. He goes, oh, you can do it. You're a football player, American football player. I wouldn't expect a football player to do this. I'm like, the shade. <laughs> he plays rugby, so. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> but I'll get up there. He's like, he goes, two plates should be easy. I was like, two plates should be easy if you're in your, like, late teens, early 20s. <laughs> and you didn't start playing sports until the age of 32, you know. I didn't start playing sports until the age of 32. <laughs> but, yeah, so, and then he had me do, like, bent over row. And then he's like, I have to go to my next appointment. I was like, okay. I, I gotta go, I gotta go, go do the Pokemon stuff. He goes, oh, is it an event today? I'm like, I think so. But they start at like 10. He goes, oh, okay, well, if you have any questions, just send me an email. I'm like, okay. And he walked off, got to his appointment, and I biked home. <laughs> but yeah. I had to edit the video, and it's been in the process of HD saving. So now I'm going to... That's why I was like idly just staring at the, at looking up stuff on Wikipedia because it was doing a mess of HD save of GoPro footage. But anyways, the bacon's a little thin, but it is 12 slices, right? I don't know. They're usually good about that. Well, the thing is, is like I'd never seen this girl before, and I'd forgotten. But there was like eight people inside that little butcher area, all trying to get. I don't know. It was strange. We may not have enough bacon. <laughs> I said twelve block and home bites back. Yeah, they are definitely synchronized dancing, but they are not whole ass line dancing. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure the thing gets post-production while Aaron cooks that stuff. <sighs> and, well, at least I have Clark to supplement any bits of protein that I need. <laughs> All right, so we just got finished with breakfast, and then something I brought up last night because um, of the meeting with the stuff with the recruitment meeting, and people are going on vacation, and then I brought up something. 
and then it was late and I hadn't had any pizza yet so we watched TV and we just so we have our dates for our <laughs> uh, train trip yes they are Where are they <laughs> well your phone your phone will have it if you don't want to like alt tab away from the game because <laughs> you were looking at the email last night from Eurostar yeah. yes I know my password changed because I changed it. He was having some issues with with the the last pass thing. With last pass? Yeah. Last pass working with filling out information, and it kept like forcing certain pieces of information in. That he was like, no, I don't need a second address. It's literally da 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 da. You need a second address, which is literally the same as yet. So like, no, it's not working. And then like. This phone number doesn't match. And they're like, what? I put in my name and my number in the first field. Yeah. So he just disabled it, but then had passwords and stuff. So 9 through 12 of September. So, yeah. The reason why we have it so late is because, one, it's vacation time for people. And two, ugh, it's, uh, well, let's just say that with, Two people there and back. Um, we saved 200 euros going a month after his birthday. Because we were kind of looking at that time. We don't want to go like now, now. <laughs> uh, even though I think there may be last minute tickets for pretty cheap. But he'd also have to get the time off work last minute. And that's not good. So we have that scheduled. And then now he's doing Castle Nathria. Is murder at Castle Nathria? No, I'm, that comes out in August. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I finished with the Duolingo monthly challenge thing <laughs> because one day I took advantage of like um, the the new thing that's an e an early bird or a night owl chest, and it gives you like a two times experience thing. So, like one night I did. A lesson and it was like hey do you want us to remind you about the night owl chest so I did the night owl chest and got that in the morning <laughs> and I did that really fast and I did that while I was waiting for the video to upload and stuff and did like two or three lessons during the boat bonus experience but then it was like, hey, do you want us to remind you of the early birds? And you did one so early in the morning. Oh, okay. Then that night, while we were watching TV again, I did it. I did a couple more and that were like super easy. Um, yeah, it was, most of them are like super easy on uh, what's called NL1 because it's just sort of fill in the blank about how to spell the province. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know how to spell Heldolan. <laughs> I know how to spell Overisel. <laughs> I definitely know how to spell South Holland. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> it's it's just yeah. Anyways, so that I, I wound up getting a lot of experience, but I'm done with the July challenge for getting all the points in July. So my brain's like, we're in August right now. And we're not. <laughs> we are. Oh, it is the 23rd, though. <laughs> Whatever. We've still got another week of this month, though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're going to be going to a terrace. The last time I had the urge to go to a terrace, we didn't actually go to a terrace and sit outside. We went to TGI Fridays. <laughs> And that was a finagle and a half because it wasn't one of those that, yeah, they still required like seating requirement. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, <laughs> but hopefully we can maybe stick somewhere in town or something. I didn't wait for a bike ride. I don't need to do anything. Okay, so. We're still home. We're actually going to the restaurant. We're gonna have a little bit more vlogging outside of the apartment. I just didn't wanna... It's a hassle to only take the backpack for the camera. And then while I'm on a bike, it's just, there's no reason. <laughs> it's just a medical thing. Plus I look gross afterwards, all sweaty and bullshit. But yeah, 
sleeve sorter came in. It's just a leaf. Um, yeah. It's pretty heavy too, but some of those things I think are, they're not, le there's a difference between like leggings and tights. <laughs> and some of the things that I've gotten from them are a little thicker than usual. Uh, some of them are pretty thin. So I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, so that's the sleeve sorter. Aaron's been cracking out on Hearthstone. Yeah. I did more No Man's Sky, but I didn't stream it because it's just that I'm trying to get. Now that the freighter's been upgraded, I want to, or been overhauled, I want to actually design a decent freighter. And I can <laughs> if I use up all my modules. So, my, but my mod, but then I won't have the really expensive item I need to buy from those items. That's the mega hyperdrive, <laughs> so I can actually get places with it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's. That's that. I'm taking the camera, so I'm taking the backpack because we're going out places. And if we pick up anything at a store on the way home, it's better to just not have to carry it or put it in. Yeah. I'm in my 30s cargo shorts. What's funny is I, 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 I make fun of it only because I realized that there was somehow a problem. Because when I went to that gay seminar thing in the downtown Portland... All the like 20 something college gay boys were making fun of the guy who made like the book of athletes. That's because he'd wander around with cargo shorts. And he goes, You're such an old man wandering around in cargo shorts. And I'm like, What? <laughs> Since when were cargo shorts like a bad thing? Oh, right. <laughs> Not fashionable? Yeah, well, regardless, uh, I now understand the reason that it's a uh, um, overly rich gay boy, gay boys out of the United States with cocker noms. <laughs> and it's just like Taylor, Quentin, like just those Stanford frat boy names. <laughs> And I just, ha, uh, but anyways. Hokey dokey, so, I don't even want to hear that. Oh look, they have Aslachem. They don't actually have cider. any. Yep, it's cider. Hmm. It's the actual menu. But yeah, there are tons of people in this small little section. Yeah. There was actually a pop, a, a store around here I saw. Oh, it's the Asian spirit one over there that I thought Joe might be interested in because it had a lot of the trinkets and stuff that was Asian and dragons and medieval and stuff. And, you know, it was actually one of the places I thought maybe swing by for your mom, but I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're like Dom Square is right over there. It, it, yeah, if we're sitting here long enough, the seven o'clock bells will go off. But yeah, I've biked through here so many times, just constantly ringing my bell <laughs> because people just wander all over the roads. But yeah, see, they actually have nachos with beef, melted cheese, corn, onion, tomato, guacamole, sour cream, and salsa. Like. I, I gotta try it. <laughs> if it's small, I'll order something else. I... Oh, so the so this nachos is small. This one's large. Oh. See, I want I want this. I want this so much. But it's two <laughs> persons minimum, sixteen per person. By Christ! But I'm like so hungry that yeah, that this one nachos con todo. Beef. Do we want to have a starter of anything? They don't have anything here that we would have as starters. Mm -hmm. I want these. I absolutely want these. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get something else for your thing. You can get like a... The chorizos. 
Oh. Okie dokie. I gotta find a drink. I'm hoping their draft beer is not Heineken. <laughs> I will say this much. The presentation in any restaurant is always so much better. If I ordered jalapeno poppers in the States, they'd give me a basket full of this and not sweet and sour chili sauce. So that's just chorizo balls mm -hmm. that you put in tortillas. Yep. That looks that looks like a meal for your mother. Like it's small enough. Yeah. This is a little too little, but we are definitely in the line of all the people walking by. But our food's gonna smell good and they're gonna get hungry. <laughs> Come on, get a cackle, get a cackle. <laughs> All right, so it's got salsa, dun, sour cream, the beef's right there in nice small chunks, lettuce, you got fries, salad, yeah. is that the mushroom, mushroom sauce? sauce? Hang on. That's the mushroom sauce, and then your steak, which, if you look over at the little table thing, yeah. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll discuss how everything is. I'm going to put the camera down and eat, and then we'll probably... I don't know, I have more beer to drink. Okie dokie. We're out of the Dom Square area. We're walking. We're either going to run by either an Albert Heine and get a coffee or Duncan or something. I don't know. Uh, the nachos were very good. The chips got a little soggy, but they were only in the middle, so I had to use a fork to basically shovel everything else into my mouth. Uh, not very busy, but whatever. But uh, Aaron's uh, mushroom sauce stuff. So good. Oh my gosh. And the steak was melting your mouth good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, we, we just each had like one drink. We had, I had jalapeno popper, so we had a little bit more food than usual. Plus not sharing an appetizer kind of moved up the price but oh god everyone's gawking at the condom store i was like what is everyone giggling about like they're 12 years old condoms <laughs> but yeah we're walking down this street to get to central oh look an irish pub in the middle of amsterdam go figure tosh resort will run you down you guys gotta stop walking in the fucking road. Dodge Resort will kill you. Look at these people. They just... Mm, not a pedestrian road. So yeah, the end of that street basically tees off into an actual road that comes out over there. Aaron's like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I, I, I just imagine Aaron just like, wow. <laughs> I had no idea where I was. Now suddenly, I, I know where I'm at. Like this yeah, is this, this is this is the probably the most picturesque I can get in Thrall on this. Look at that screen. I can't wait to go, but I oh, yeah. <laughs> I just finished the chase slot. Click click. Got one. Oh yeah, so we're gonna run inside the Albert Hein, get some just I, I, a flat white, you know. Yeah. And then we have thingies at home, the twenty-six is passing. Fluffy doggy! 